That is not good. Oy vey. We're back. Again, we have nothing better to do. But I went into our pantry closet and I found something that we never opened. I think we got it as a wedding gift. I'm not really sure. I don't know where we got this. But it's been sitting at the bottom of our closet and it was sitting at the bottom of the closet of our last place. So, you know, this is an unboxing, technically. The Big Boss Grill. Never used. No. All right, so let's let's see what we have in here, Jane. Excuse me a moment, John will entertain you. We got this thing. We got the grill itself. So let's see what this stupid thing consists of. I am, I am seeing problems already. What? Uh, uh, because we got two giant chicken breasts that are not gonna fit in this. No, you put one. No, know. you kind of took one at a time. It is ridiculous. We're not prepared. We got, Assistant. We got a um, plastic uh, thing. Thing. Oh, this looks like like a panini press. These are the donuts. I wonder if they have donuts. Look, little mini donuts. Got these things. A couple more in here. I don't know what this one does. That's it. So this is what the inside of this thing looks like. So we are going to make the chicken parmesan. Okay. So what it calls for in this recipe is two boneless chicken breasts, which we have right here. Four ounces of mushrooms sauteed lightly in butter. In my entire life, I have never seen a mushroom and a chicken parmesan. Mushroom? Chicken? I never, yeah. never. It's bananas. We're actually leaving that, that out. Uh, so we need that. We need two. We still need some basil, some mozzarella. And then it calls for jarred tomato sauce, which, listen, I have to draw the lines on this, okay? I am not opening a jar of tomato sauce in this house. So I've got a beautiful marinara that I prepared earlier, percolating away on the stove. Because if I open a jar of sauce in this house, I don't know what would happen. Maybe maybe a sinkhole would open up. So first thing, Janie, we have to do is preheat the Big Boss with the inserted grill plate. So we have to split the chicken breast to make a, po a pocket, stuff with mushrooms, basil, and mozzarella, and close it with two bricks. This is preheating. Open this baby up. I, I noticed in the uh, directions, mm -hmm. the recipe. Do you want me to cut some cheese? <laughs> calls for no spices at all. No salt, no pepper, nothing. Uh, well, I guess you don't need salt and pepper if you have the sauce already, and the mozzarella has a salty taste to it, so maybe they figured, you know. It's good old palio. I'm letting John do everything because in the last video I did everything, so now he could do it. This basil is pathetic, but it's all we have available to us. Pop this back over like so close it with a toothpick that's it too that's it how long does it stay in there for it's Jane? eight to ten minutes eight to ten minutes Ooh, sizzle baby can you close it oh <laughs> all right time it up while this is cooking away i will tell you how i made my my little marinara sauce that's back there it's fantastic olive oil onions Put them in the pan, heat the oil and the onion together. Don't put hot oil and cold onion. Everything in cold, let it heat together. Saute it a little bit, can of crushed tomatoes, fresh basil, cheese, salt, pepper, oregano, and let it percolate away for about an hour. Big Boss Grill has started making some strange noises and the lights have gone off. On the top, we've got about 30 seconds left before we open this bad boy up. Uh, it's at eight to 10 minutes. We've, been, we've done it for nine minutes. I'm a little bit afraid, to be quite honest with you, about what I'm going to uh, encounter when we open this thing, this thing up. Pretty thick chicken cutlet, chicken breast. Don't really see how that cooked in that short amount of time, but well, you know, the big boss grill. This is a legitimate, oh my God. messy Wait. disaster. All right, listen. We're gonna eat this baby. Yeah. 
have to try it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put sauce on this. This looks just, this is a delicious looking Wait, chicken just... parmesan. Mmm, mmm, yeah. delicious. That looks homemade, like, yeah. All right, hang on. Can't wait to dig in that. This is, this is what's gonna, this is what's gonna make it. Can you just wait for the little puffers to drop? Don't that's, cheese. That's the recipe. I'm afraid. It's probably not gonna be cooked all the way. Oh, I feel it's rubbery. It feels rubbery, John. I don't know. Take a taste. Taste. I'm afraid. I don't wanna get sick. Let me see, let me see. Well, it's not bad. It doesn't taste like chicken parmesan. It tastes like you, someone in a, in a, Deli counter just threw a chicken on the grill with some cheese on top and then threw the sauce on top. A couple of things. Mm -hmm. Number one, this is terrible. <laughs> Number two, that's going in the garbage. No, but it has other plates that like we can okay. make waffles and donuts. First of all, look at the mess. The big question is going to be what the hell are we going to have for dinner? It needs salt. This is a legitimate disgrace. What a waste. But you know what? That's what we get. We're making chicken parmesan in a grill. But like, did, 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 I bet know. this is good if you put a steak or you want grilled chicken. Or to make the, the waffles or the pancakes or the donuts or whatever, then that's probably good. Do not buy the Big Boss Grill. I will never eat another thing that comes out of that day. Maybe if I made donuts or if I made waffles. Make the, donuts get made in, 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 in oil. Well, well, people make them in these things. I'm not a big fan of waffles. You know why? The pancake. It doesn't hide who it is. It's a cake made in a pan. It's a pan cake. Mm -hmm. The waffle is the same ingredient, but he tries to hide what he is. He doesn't call himself a cake, he's a waffle. What's a waffle? You don't know what a waffle is, but you eat it. Pan cake is honest, he's right up front. I'm a cake. That's it, you haven't cake for breakfast. I got a lot of ideas. And I got to go. Because I gotta figure out what to make for dinner now. Hope you like this segment. This wasn't sponsored, obviously. I don't want to give up on it. I think there's other things that might come out better. You don't get steak at a diner and expect it to be good. It's just like you don't put chicken parmesan in a <clears throat> grill press with thing and think it's gonna come out good. We'll just poop wipe and move on and do something else for you next time. Hey, why don't you let us know, is there something that you would like to make that maybe we have a good recipe for? or something easy that you'd like to see. We would love your feedback. That's how we can make these videos better. Let me know in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, do all those great things. And that. enjoy your dinner, which is not chicken parmesan and uh, grilled presser thingy. Bye. Bye. Is it on? Check, check, sound. <clears throat> Grills. Oh, and we're mm. making fagazi chicken parmesan and some stupid grill. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be a nightmare. We don't know what we're doing. Oops, I'll be wet. Jen, you can't use an extension cord. Why not? Because heavy duty electronic heating element is not made to be used with an extension cord. You use the knife that you cut the chicken it's with? It's all on cooking the... together. Yeah, but cook. you have to use all that cheese in order to cheese up. It's gonna have chicken. No, because I'm gonna cut two more pieces of cheese. So these cheeses, and then I'll wash the knife before I cut the last piece of cheese. Right in the sweet spot.